the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is singing up in heaven such as we have never known. Breathing angels in the presence of the Lamb upon the throne. Their sweet hearts are ever tuneful and their voices always night message on this Friday the 6th of October 2023 broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Rusaka, Zambia by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this angel story entitled Strange UFO or Angel. But when I sing redemption story they will fall their wings for angels A UFO is a mysterious object seen in the sky for which it is claimed no orthodox scientific explanation can be found, often supposed to be a vehicle carrying extraterrestrials. After his experience in the 1980s with the most beautiful thing he ever saw, Lewis L. might agree with that assessment. It was a Saturday morning in Mariposa, California, and Lewis had to work that day. The air was fresh from a cool rain the night before, and the morning sky was bright with a few scattered clouds. I was heading out to my car in the back parking lot of the apartment complex where I lived when I noticed someone kneeling next to my car. Lewis says this person saw me and quickly stood up holding a crowbar. The young man was quite obviously startled by Lewis' interruption and although Lewis sensed the boy was up to no good, it hadn't yet hit him what he was doing. Then Lewis looked through the passenger window of his car and saw that the steering wheel column had been stripped off his cover. He realized that the young man was trying to steal his car. I asked him what the hell he was doing, Lewis recalls. He gave me a lame story about his friend's car being stolen last night and that my car looked like his friends, and so on. I didn't want to hear it. I told him I was going to call the police, which I did on my cell phone. Lewis dialed 911 and gave the dispatcher the address. He told the would-be thief that the police were on their way and warned him not to leave. The boy said he would wait for the police but Lewis could tell he was just waiting for the right moment to make a run for it. If he did, I wasn't going to try to stop him because his adrenaline was pumping and he had that crowbar, Lewis says. As Lewis was drilling the young man, trying to detain him, he began to notice three rather large clouds in a single file formation that were almost overhead. Then I saw it, he says, a shiny object exiting from the first cloud and entering the next and then coming out of that one. It was shiny, like brightly polished chrome and moving at a good speed. I couldn't make out the shape. By this time, Lewis was so distracted by the UFO that the punk saw his chance and took off. That's when the object entered the last cloud. From there, it was nothing but open sky. When it emerged, my life changed, Lewis says. There, against the richness of the blue sky, was a silverly shape that seemed to have arms and legs. It was so beautiful to look at. At the same time, it had the appearance of metal. It looked like some kind of ship with a strange design. The best way I can describe it is it looked like silverware in the design of the Stockman children draw. It was huge, moving fast, and made no noise. As it sailed overhead, 
Some of their limbs would move up and down, giving the impression of being alive, a living entity. It made a couple of rows, reflecting the sun in every direction. Just beautiful. Oh my God, beautiful. As it started to fade away from my view, I found myself short of breath and with tears running down my cheeks. It had that much of an effect on me. I began thinking maybe that's what an angel looks like. Maybe not. That's a real angel story, similar to an experience that took place in Zambia towards the end of the month of August when there was a golden celebration of the charismatic renewal in Zambia. A sign appeared in the sky, a sign of the presence of an angel around the sun. Angels do exist. And we just have to be aware that their existence is the proof of God's presence in our own lives. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. The angels stand and listen, for they cannot join the song. Let the sound of many waters by that happy blood wash strong. For they sing about great trials, battles for ten victories won. Set us in a free.